Hi, this is Lindor and here is my February plan with me. Now, there's going to be a lot of hearts and Valentine's Day themes. I'm, I'm not the sort of person that celebrates Valentine's Day, so I decided to do a space theme for my February spread. So I've basically drawn everything out with some pencil and now I'm just trying to find something to prop up that one side of my book, of my journal and that's not working so I go and get my tablet which is the perfect size for that side. So as I said I've drawn all this out in pencil prior to inking it in with my Pigma Micron pens. And you can see a lot of different coloured pens and that around me doing this and that's because I'd just filmed a haul video which will be up later in the week. And the reason I have that cloth on the left side of me is because I have a lamp there and it it's very glary on my glass craft mat and having something over the top of it prevents that glare. As you can see there's still a little bit there. So I'm not going to be trying calligraphy anytime soon in my bullet journal because I tried a little bit last month and it turned out dreadfully so I need a bit more practice with that before I do any more. So that was the sort of introduction to February title page and now I'm doing my month at a glance and I was originally going to make this a line calendar and I ended up just doing these short lines to define the boxes and these tiny little boxes within those boxes are going to be where I colour in for my mood tracker this month. As you can see I've missed a couple but I do go back and get them. Now I'm just dating those boxes. And I'm sorry that my, my drawing means that I'm over the image for most of the time. I'll try and figure out something that allows you to see me draw. 
and here I am organizing my my different sections one is for goals one is for achievements one is for events and the other one is for tasks now I'm just putting a little bit of ground in so my little spaceman doesn't look like he's floating on air And I will come back and write the month up the top of that page later. Now this is my first weekly spread for the month. As you can see there, if you look closely, I accidentally drew the pencil lines for the left hand side boxes in the wrong spot, but I picked it up before too much damage was done. And I will just go over that with a white gel pen to fix it up later. I actually do it a couple of times but I never wait for it to dry because I'm just too impatient. So I have to do it a few. So I'm just doodling in some planets, some meteorites, asteroids, whatever, some stars. To fill the top of that page. And now I'm coming in with a gold gel pen and just colouring some of the things on the page with the gold gel pen I'm basically doing the stars and I'll do a little bit on the rings of that planet and a little bit in that sun drawing as well. I've chosen a purple marb liner and this gold gel pen from Kazercraft to be my colours for this month. Here I am just trying to make sure that it's not wet when I turn it over. And these pens from Kazecraft, they have a sale, like a 50% off sale every month. So if you get them, then they're really, really, really cheap. So I really enjoyed keeping it mostly like the black inking and the white negative space and just using little bits of colour to accent the spread. So I might do this sort of thing next month as well and continuing on. I really like the idea of picking a theme and and a, a few colours to continue that throughout the month. But that will also depend on how busy my month gets. Like last week, I were, uh, last month I was really behind on a lot of things and my weekly spreads were just one page halved and just you know 
quickly jot down what I needed to do. So here I am writing the month on the top of my month at a glance page. Now I did do a little bit of the stars around this and I probably should have left it alone because it ends up looking really busy but it still looks nice. Sometimes you have to know when to stop. So I'm just going over those letters with the purple mild liner. And now I am writing in the quote, which I probably should have looked up a quote before I drew all the things in on this page, but I didn't. And this is a rather large quote, so I have to sort of squeeze it in there. So it'll be something to keep in mind for next time. And I was going really, really slow with my cursive because I haven't used it for a while and I'm a little bit self-conscious doing it on camera. But I'll get over it. So the quote is from Doctor Who and it's the universe is big. It's vast and complicated and ridiculous and sometimes very rarely impossible things happen and we call them miracles. And uh, I just thought that was a really really nice quote to go with my spacey theme. And if you haven't figured it out, if you've watched my other, some of my other, like my Playing With Me um, 2019, when I was setting up my Yuli stuff, I used a Yoda quote then, so I'm a little bit, a little bit nerdy in that respect. I like all my science fiction-y type things. So that's the quote done, the month at a glance. Now I'm just going to put in the mood key so that when I colour in the squares I'll know what they mean. I'm using the gold the purple and just a little bit of grey for my mild liners from my mild liners because grey won't throw off the colour scheme that much. Here I am putting in all the punctuation and the the tittles on the eyes. And that's my weekly spread. So, oh, I'm writing in my dates, but uh, once I do that, my journal spread for this month and this first week coming up is done. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. I'd love it if you subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.